Oh, welcome back to Let's Play Custom Robo. We got the drill and the wave bomb and the standard bomb K, thankfully. I will be putting that on right away. Yeah, a lot of junk. Yeah, they just start whipping parts into it at the end of the game. Probably because of all for the grand battle, huh? Yeah, thank you. Give me that. Standard K. This K stands for knockout. It knocks him out immediately as soon as it hits him. <laughs> no, no, no fights here, guys. Nothing. Oh shit! And what were you guys doing in there? All four of you inside of each other like that. That's what she said. Oh, um, no, nah, just no. <laughs> what? Okay, just like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the stupidest argument ever. Never mind. All right. Unfortunately, we only get to fight the goons, but that's okay. Cause we got the dragon gun. Oh man, ice stage? Are you kidding me? Where's my scramble walls? Ah! That's good. Good, I tell you, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. No, no, nah, man. Not today, you don't. Oh my dragons, watch! Oh man, I love this thing. Well, I should jump if I'm gonna try to shoot over walls. Ow. Ow. Ow, you're not- you don't get to pull and push me around. You ass. Dad, I love this gun. I think I just said Dad, I love this gun, but it, I meant to say God, but... I don't know how that happened. Oh, jeez. Thank you. Oh, dude, I, I forgot. I got my knockdown thing. Let's use that shit. Boom! Knocks him down immediately. Very, very, very useful. Boom. 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 Oh, what? That missed. Doesn't matter. This is gonna hit. Kill him. Yeah! I was gonna say, I knew that one would hit. All right, now what do you suppose is gonna happen now? Oh, the freeze bomb. Everyone gets knocked out. Except for them. Aha, aha. All right. Everyone into the teleporter, stand on top of each other. Let's go. Oh shit, she fucked his asshole. Uh, our Okay, that was that was a bit much. I'm sorry. I meant to say inspect, but I don't. You know what? Just, just never mind. Hey, look at why are you just telling us? Nice. I'm not even gonna say it just in case you haven't caught it. That's stupid. This, this is the whole reason why this whole custom roller thing does not work. I'm gonna even. I don't even think I need to you explain this. Seriously? So why is everyone fighting with custom robo when they don't have to? You just punch them in the face and then they get hurt! Like, unless that fan is made out of steel, obviously that, like, knocks the wind out of you or something. So, so why, why would the criminals bother fighting the cops? And why would the, fobs bother the cops bother fighting the criminals? Why? 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 This whole fucking story is just, like, invalidated with that one little action. It's stupid. But, you know what, just try to ignore it, and it turns out they're twins. If you didn't catch it, her, they just automatically told her your name is Isabella, whereas last time it was a question mark, so it's like, well, why would you do that? I mean, you're about to reveal it, but you haven't revealed it just yet. 
aku Yeah. Oh yeah, we get a nice bloop shot. Bloop shot, yeah, a bloop shot. Fuck, why can't I speak? Man, that pivot. It's like a fork. Oh, <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Their pose together is kind of cool, I guess. It's just kind of synchronized. Mm, all right, and we get this cool stage again. Thankfully, we got the dragon gun, so if it opens up, we're gonna kick some major ass. Oh man, I shot the complete opposite direction, and I'm on like a higher countdown. Fuck. Don't matter though, I got the dragon. Dude, don't both look at me because if I lose, then we both lose. That's not even fair. AI's taking advantage of me! It's not fair. I already had my asshole inspected. I don't need it again. Nothing in there! Sure. Toilet safety association administration? I don't know. Keep their hands off it. Dude, I tried to switch to the person because the other one's behind the wall, but you didn't switch! Well, I did, but then I switched back by accident because I was tapping the button too enthusiastically. Dead anyway. Come on, die! Die! Dude, Harry. Oh shit, Harry just is getting his ass kicked. I was like, what? And Harry's we're kicking in her ass. And I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> wait a minute! Boom! Beast bot. Ooh, it got knocked sideways. <laughs> Shit. Well, you didn't really fight that much harder. <laughs> well, it's no wonder you lost. He uses a freaking crazy like. Oh, never mind. Ugh. Well, chief, why didn't you just spoil everything? Quickly, before I change our minds, even though we're about to fucking pass out, we can't do anything to stop you anyway. Dude. That's not a good idea. Alright. Freeze bomb. Beast pod. Now, the reason why I switched to dragon is because I like to use it for the final boss, because the ash burner is not strong enough and the shotgun is worthless. Because if you knock him down, he doesn't even go down. He just rebirths immediately, like, bam, rebirth, which means you're wasting your time with that shotgun. And you're a dumbass if you're trying to get close to him. Now, this is the only three-on-one fight where it sucks balls for us because he's so powerful. Basically, if you were him and you were a three-on-one fight, you'd win every time. There's no if, ands, or buts. You just win. In the hands of a human player, there's no way to lose. Give it, give your controller to a two-year-old and say, press this red, big red button over and over and over again, and you would win a three-on-one. <laughs> no. It's funny. You can actually say that a few times, but he just does it again. He, he eventually automatically does it. There's no more hidden dialogue. Well, there is a little bit, but... Yo, I was going to say, yeah, he points it, right? It's like, point at the target. It's like, what does point at the target mean when you're using a watch? You kind of just, like, flicked it in the air and hit it. What if you just erased everyone's memories in the room by accident? And, oh, shit, now he looks kind of like a tiger. And, uh... I'm probably going to lose this a couple times because this is actually kind of a hard fight. I said kind of a hard fight, but it's actually pretty hard. And I believe he's the yellow one. It's weird how he still shoots out of a cube. Dude, I had a free hit! Oh shit, that fucking gun of his. Don't screw up now, game. We're almost there, I just gotta finish this and in the credits. Stop! Stop screwing up! 
See, he's not- he has like three bars to go down, or even going down in the slightest, even getting hit by the dragon gun, so... You basically, you can't knock them down, it's impossible. However, well, you can, but you'll rebirth in a, like instantaneously, so it don't matter. Because you see, it just went down, but... Like, the shotgun knocks him down, but it doesn't knock him down. That makes sense. Basically, my strategy is to stand here and be a chicken shit with the dragon gun. There he's using the old sword storm combo that I tried last time we fought. Or, well, in the, uh, police squad, you know, S class tournament, you know, test thing. Dude, no, stop looking at me, man, because if I lose, we all lose. Yeah, see, he just got knocked down. Uh, he just rebirthed. Uh, he didn't even stop moving, he just kept moving and it just said rebirth. I tried to charge him there just to get away from him, but... Oh, jeez, I might lose. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, no! Uh-uh! Uh-uh! So, thank fucking god! First try! And before the game screwed up too much... But unfortunately, we're gonna have to see the end of the game next time! Cliffhanger! Bye. Welcome back to Let's Play Custom Robo for the final part of, well, this is kind of like the halfway point of the game, actually. <laughs> yeah. I still got the grand battle to do. <laughs> yeah! Can you imagine how, like, intense that would be? And then he just kind of like disappears in a flash of light. It's kind of anticlimactic. And he's gone. So it took you guys long enough. We saved the world without you. And everyone's asses have been thoroughly kicked. By none other than me and me alone. You see, we won only because I was here. If I wasn't here, everybody would have lost. What if he never did? <laughs> you dumbass son, why did you save the world? You shouldn't have said I'm not going. What if I don't have any friends? They actually use it in a really good way. Uh, you'll find out in the grand battle. Well, you kind of are criminals, unfortunately. Well... You were, and most of you were anyway. Oh gee, yeah, why don't you why 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 would you even bother giving me an option? I'm almost gonna give you the less enthusiastic one. Great, now no one's ever gonna trust you again. No! They can't do that. But of course, he gets a special exception because he's technically- You could almost say he's technically a double agent. Although, he actually joined it for not double agent reasons. He just kind of became one.
Oh yeah, gee, now you want my watch, and I don't have any option to refuse. Well, I ain't running back for it next time, beach. Did he say that? I don't think he said that in the opening cutscene. Maybe he did, I just don't remember. You know what his face would be? Quarter pounder! And with that, we unlock first person mode. It sucks balls, because it's hard to see what's going on. You can't see where the fucking pods are. And unfortunately, you can't see your gun like in the opening- You know the opening cutscene? Where you like, you got the fucking badass, like, first person, like, robo- Like, view and like, how amazing the game would be if it actually looked like that? Well, unfortunately, you can't even see your gun. Like, so you're like, not even on a golden eyes level of first person. So it sucks right there. And it's just not nearly as cool looking at it from this angle. It's kind of a neat idea. Like, seriously, can you imagine, though, even just like a golden eye level of gun where I can see my gun and my bomb, like, right in front of me, would just make this so much more, like, like, I'd use this. I would actually use it. But if you don't want to use it, I think you can use the C stick to get out of it. Where is the button to get out of it? I'm almost certain it's a C stick, but it's not working for some reason. Basically, this just repeats the whole time until you credits are over, so. I'm not even gonna pay attention to what's going on. Because, I mean, there's no point, right? Boom! Bam! Bam! I mean, you could challenge yourself to see how many times can I kill him before he kills me, but I mean, it's like. It's pointless. Alright. I don't even know what to talk about now. Like, I, it's a very fun game, though. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be the first to say if there is like a massive strategy to this that I'm just not seeing. Uh, maybe there is. Honestly, I can't really find anything. I find a few things will kind of work, but I mean, obviously I can try a little harder. But... I mean, I'm gonna have to. But I mean... As far as like, game goes, like, it's fun, but it's like... Very, it's not very in depth. Basically, it boils down to mash the B button with the better gun. You know, with a little bit of strategy in between, but it's not like, you know. But it's a great game. It's a fun game, and I probably it's probably like my eighth or seventh or like time or tenth time. I don't know playing through it. I usually just play through the new journey. This is fun to do that. I've only ever done the grand battle like to the end, like all gold trophies once. But I guess this will be my second time, but. I'll probably never do it again after that, because it's just too much of a pain in the ass. And there's not much story in the ground battle, there's a little bit of a story. And there is kind of an ending, but... It's not really... Like that. Like... It, it, it's very slow, and it's not much. Basically, it's just a bunch of battle tournaments. Like I said, this game is tournament simulated to the video game. Yeah, well... You thought those were over? They're not. You're just gonna have one tournament, 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 tournament. Remember tournament mode in Smash Brothers? Well, this is just permanent tournament, tournament mode with no option of escape. Boom. Okay, how much longer do I have to mash the B button on this guy? I'm gonna stand here and let him kill me. But... Hmm. You know, I could talk about... Oh, well, actually, I think the video's almost over. Ah, maybe I'll talk about that next time. Although, I don't know when the next time's gonna be, because I'll be doing the grand battle. My feet are off the ground, man! I'm, I'm kind of looking strange. And now, you get the option to play the grand battle, or play a new journey from the beginning using your new parts! So, what will you do? <laughs> I've said that in, like, fucking what's your name's voice from Fable. Um, you know, what will you do, little brother? You know, you're about to cast a sword into the darkness, or, like, keep it, or, like, you know. Play the grand battle! You can now play arcade mode. What, we couldn't do that before? You can now play against CPU in versus mode. Yeah, we weren't even allowed to do that. Now we can do the parts index. Okay, we get it. Yeah, I get it. I won't be doing that. Alright, well, that brings us to the end of A New Journey.
Next, we will be playing the grand battle. So join me next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.